Hey. I got to do this because I can't use the flash right now because my battery is too low. It's an Android problem. It's I'll, I'll help you with my 3% battery. Oh, well, I hope your phone does. <laughs> <laughs> Say hey, Nate. How was going on, y'all? Made it back from Atlanta. If y'all didn't know, they had the Impala takeover going on this past weekend. Had a whole bunch of fun, but uh, everybody was out there from Texas to Florida to Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, Virginia. It was. Everybody was out there, but if you missed it, pictures are going up on Facebook. They're going up on Instagram. I didn't get a chance to do any recording with uh, with the camera. You know, I got some cell phone stuff that's on my Instagram and on my Facebook. But uh, I put the hashtags in it if you want to uh, check it out. But that was the official Worldwide Impalas, the second get together. And uh, it was in Atlanta. But if you're not in the group, go ahead and find a group on Facebook. Put in your little request or whatever. We'll go ahead and put you in there. That way you can keep up to date with uh, with any other events. But after that long ride and realizing I hadn't changed these brakes yet. So I'm go ahead and got my brakes and all of that. So it's time to swap these brakes out so I can get back to being 100% on the highway. And... Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like doing some more upgrades on it now. Now that I kind of got back out around some other Impala. So maybe I'm not done. I don't know yet. But maybe. Let me go ahead and get this ready and start changing these brakes out. All right. So I got the wheel off. Just a quick note. It is a torque screw in this rotor. And it takes a T30. I don't, I don't know if you can see this or not. But. It's a T30 bit that goes in it, so you will need that. As well as a uh, 13 for these, and I think it's uh, 15 for this bolt back here to get this whole bracket off, so you can get the rotor off. But yeah, you will need a 13, a 15, and a T30 Torx bit. So just giving you a heads up. All right, so for the record, these 15s to get this uh, the caliper bracket off, you will need a breaker bar or, of some kind to, uh, to get them off. You won't get them off with just a ratchet, either a breaker bar or like a torque wrench or something. But, yeah, you definitely got to get them off with something like that. And last up is this Torx bit, this T30. But as you can see, these brakes were, they were pretty bad. I don't know, wearing real uneven, so... Got these new uh, wherever goes and had them for a while, just sitting up waiting. New rotors too. Uh, all this is from Advanced Auto, so I used to work there, so that's why I, you know most of my stuff is coming from there. But new brackets to take these off, so let me go ahead and get back to this and then uh, show you what it looked like once everything is brand new. Uh, so now everything is new, new pads, new rotors, new clamps. I'm just uh, squeezing these calipers in, I mean these uh, pistons in on, on this caliper. This one is not like the 2000 or 2005 Impala with the one, uh, the one piston, so it's two pistons. So just to get it done a little quicker and uh, do it a little evenly, I just got two, two clamps on here going. But I mean, I probably could have just got one clamp in the middle and did it, but it ain't that hard to run two of them at the same time, so I don't know. Whatever works. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, put this on, and I still got to do the other side.